Yeah, I put this up, Pace, because I'm curious myself. Oh, sorry. There you go. Did you see that? Yes, I'm doing one right now. I'm doing one right now. Um, if a property is 50% equity, can I sub to the mortgage for a seller finance for the equity? Yes, it's called a hybrid, right? So it's half sub to half seller finance. I got a deal right now in Georgia that I'm buying. Sub to mortgage I'm taking over is like 150. The seller finance portion is like 120. I'm giving the seller zero dollars down towards his his equity. And how much? What is the interest rate he's seller financing his equity at? Zero. Zero percent. Zero point zero. So when zero. we have a Wait, you're saying you're saying the every payment that you make goes directly towards the principal. Yeah. So I make two payments in in this situation, right? I have an existing sub two mortgage. So yep. I make my payment to the mortgage yep. and then I make an additional payment to the seller for his equity, which is $300 on a $120,000 seller finance piece of equity. So absolutely, if you know how to negotiate, you know how to talk to sellers. Um, like for example, somebody asked me in my DMs today, hey, what do you say to a, a seller that says, "I why would I sell to you on seller finance? What happens if you don't make the payments? And I said, well, you just don't know how to reply to him. And he's like, well, this is what I said. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so bad. The, the thing you say to the seller in that situation is seller says, hey, Brent, why would, um, what happens if the mortgage, what, if, what happens if you don't make my mortgage? What happens? My reply to that is, Brent, that's the best thing that could happen to you if I don't make those payments. And let me tell you five reasons why. You're caught up. Look at all this pay down. Look at all, right? I mean, right. you go through the whole thing. Right. You take the property over. I have a way of structuring these where you don't have to foreclose on me. You just take the property back. You have a poor, a mortgage pay down. You collected payments. You might even have, you, you know, you, I might have even renovated the property. Right. Tons of stuff. It's the best thing that could happen to you. And I actually did a deal uh, three or four years ago where the seller, when I was explaining this to her, she says, so maybe what I do is I sell the house to you on sub two and then you rent it out to a tenant and I'm going to go sprinkle scorpions all over the house so your tenant moves out of the house and then you can't cash flow and I get the house back, right? And I'm like, yeah, I guess like, please don't do that. But yeah, technically that could happen. So no, don't do that to me. She's like, okay, I'm going to sprinkle scorpions on the house. You know, it's like once a seller understands that it's not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing for that to happen. You can convince a seller to do just about anything you need in order to buy that property.